Am I unmuted? Yes, you're unmuted. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the Monday Live Show. Yes, I did just ask if I was unmuted because that's how we go. Uh, I am here with... Go ahead, keep going, keep going. No, I'm like, is that me or you? Uh, I am here with Quincy behind the camera to help get me started. Uh, Andy is up at the store with Anthony locking up the store for the afternoon. And everyone else has left for the evening. Uh, with that being said, I do have some price for y'all tonight and some $5. Uh, FOC did in on the website at 5 p.m. today. So if you did miss out on those orders, please do keep an eye out week to week uh, for anything that you may have missed because now that is your next opportunity to get your orders in. And speaking of next opportunities, please do get your last minute orders in before tomorrow at 2 p.m. on the website for the weekly pull list that is still currently live. Uh, those do not take payment until we actually do get the books in and we will send you the invoices that has come up a couple of times. FOC for pre-orders and pull lists are classified as pre-orders as well. So we do not take payment on those until we receive them into the building. Uh, with all that being said, though, let's just jump into it. So how this works is, please type in uh, words of claim, A, 1 as an example, or B, or C, and try to get a row, 1, 2, 3, or 4, if you can get uh, part of a title in there, too. Anything that can help me make sure that you get the correct title for you for claims it is much appreciated. So with that being said, Quincy, please pick 1, 2, or 3. Two. Okay, we will be having a couple of rounds of $5 bucks, and then I will move over into the price. We will be doing uh, the price books that Andy did not get through on Thursday. So if y'all watched Thursday's show and uh, missed out on that and did some claims on the albums, this is the remaining bit that he did not get on that show. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. That Amazing Spider-Man number 425. These are all going to be $5 for now. If you do not see a price on it, it is $5. When you do start seeing the post-its with the prices, that is when we are going to the price books. Next up is Wolverine number nine. Apparently we grabbed a very heavy Spider-Man box. We got Spider-Man Deadpool number 20. Speedo-Man. Speedo Man. And Deadpool. <laughs> Next up is DC Comics Bombshells number 3. I was just asking and then you went and complied. Next up is Spider Man 2099, number 23. It does like those Spider Man codes. Especially if they got mods. Especially if they got mods. Or is it only if they have mods? Yeah. Only if they have mods. No, I'll buy it. Next up is Static, number seven. Or Static. <laughs> yeah, or Static. <laughs> we got Amazing Spider-Man, number 223. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, <laughs> Spider Man 2099, number 13. And the eye roll fight has begun. We've got a Wizard X Men Turn 30 Collector's Edition. Remember, guys and gals, these are five dollars right now. We will move to the price after I do another round on the A frame. Get Catwoman number one. It is from the 1993 run. Oh, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what you did. Next up is Amazing Spider Man 427. Got Wolverine number forty one. Okay, gonna go ahead and do last call for the top row. Got Amazing Spider Man four twenty five. <laughs> Got Wolverine number nine. Got Spider Man Deadpool number twenty and DC Comics Bombshells number three. All for five dollars each. Next up is Silk, number eight. Be the fifth, you're gonna incriminate yourself. Watch it. It's a trap, boys. It's a trap. Don't fall for it. Got Avengers Forever, number one. That's the worst part about you. Everything best off of you shoot it off of like yeah, they're not gonna accept it. And then oh yeah, they take it. I'm like, mm. Yeah, I had an idea for a project that I may still end up doing and I shot an offer and yeah, they did that exact same thing and then I had already spent the money that I had set aside for it. So then I had to come up with more money and we're like, oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is Black Knight number one. And then I felt <laughs> felt bad because then I was just like, maybe I can decline it. <laughs> no. But then I was like, I can't decline it. <laughs> Which is weird. Go ahead. Oh. Which is weird on eBay right now because you send an offer, they put the credit card in there. Yeah, and it auto it accepts yeah. and auto charges, yeah. which is why people uh, speaking of which, we are talking about uh, auto acceptance on eBay. If y'all do ever want something pulled from eBay, please do shoot us a private message. If you are wanting pickup and you prefer to purchase the item on eBay, if the item is on sale, you cannot unfortunately request an invoice from us. But if the item is not on sale before you pay, please do try to request an invoice. We can actually turn it uh, and send you an invoice without shipping so that we can tack it on with the rest of your items for your invoice. Uh, basically for combined shipping, how we do with the website, there is an option on eBay that will allow us to do that, but you must request an invoice first before we can do that. Next up is Avengers number 268. If y'all ever do have any questions about that though, y'all can privately message us. Uh, I will be more than glad to help y'all with that. We are going to do last call for the middle row. It is Spider Man 2099, number 23. Static, number 7. Amazing Spider Man 428. And Uncanny X Men 223, all for $5 each. Next up is Wolverine, number 24. Got yeah, Spectacular Spider-Man number 139. Got yeah, X-Men Unlimited number 4.
Matt Spectacular Spider-Man 139 was graded at 8.0 because I missed the post-it. Which I guess I need to be turning those around and look at. <laughs> Got Amazing Spider-Man number 525. It is a variant. Get your handy last all for the bottom row. We've got a man, uh, Spider Man 2099, number 13. We've got a Wizard X Men Turn 30 Collector's Edition. Catwoman, number one from 1993. And Amazing Spider Man 427, all for $5 each. Yeah, thank you. Wednesday has left to his desk. Got static number 11. I was about to say you have left the building, but technically not leaving yet. Got an uncanny X Man number 261. Once we get through this bottom row, we will be switching over to the priest, which is the follow up from Thursday's show. We've got Amazing Spider-Man number 413. Which will be the last $5 for a bit. Okay. I did not plan that out very well. Okay, next up is Tills to Astonish number 77. It is graded at a 5.0 for $45. Remember guys, anything with a post-it shows the price. Anything that does not have a post-it will be $5 each. I am going to go ahead and do last call for the top row. We've got Wolverine number 41, Silk number 8, Avengers Forever number 1, and Black Knight number 1, all for $5 each. Next up is Journey into Mystery, number 106. It is graded at 4.5 for 40. Y'all did not see the Thursday show. We do have uh, some of the items that had gone through the show that went unclaimed in a Friday priced album that went up at 3 o'clock on Fridays. Uh, Daniel does try to get them up in the afternoon as a second chance album for Monday show and Thursday shows. So please do check those out. You are more than welcome to private message us right after a show to see if we still have it available. Please, if the show is no longer live, please do not make comments on the actual video. It does unfortunately group uh, video comments all together on Facebook and we do unfortunately miss comments because of that. So please just know if you, we um, are already not live anymore and you are watching this, please do private message us or you can wait for that Friday album to claim items. We got Justice League of America number 127. It is graded at 9.4 for 40. Yeah, Master, Master of Kung Fu, number 41. It is the price variant. Graded at an 8.0 for 50. Got Incredible Hulk, number 330 with McFarlane art. Graded at 9.4. For 35, Todd McFarlane art begins on this title. I'm gonna go ahead and do last call for the middle row. We've got Avengers number 268. Got Wolverine number 24. Got Spectacular Spider-Man number 139, graded at 8.0. And we've got X-Men Unlimited number four, all for $5 each. 
Next up is Batman The Long Halloween number one. It is graded at a 9.6 for 60. Remember guys, we normally have the bigger bucks on the Thursday show. This was what was left over from that show that Andy did not get up on the show. So he allowed me to actually put it on for tonight. Anything with the price sticker, that is what it is priced at. Anything without is $5 currently. Next up is Unbelievable Gwenpool number 25. It is a variant graded at 9.8 for 50. Okay, next up is Jungle Action number 20. It is featuring Black Panther. Graded at 9.0 for 45. Remember, guys, tomorrow we do pull a new comic book day. So, uh, with that being said, please do get your last minute orders in before 2 p.m. We do start pulling those books at 2 and then your next shot to get those uh, titles that are still available is at 6 p.m. for comics, toys, and trades. And then the ratios start at 7 p.m. on the Facebook albums. Got Action Comics number 408 is graded at 9.4 for 30. Going to go ahead and do last all for the bottom row. We've got Amazing Spider-Man number 525. It is a variant. Got Static number 11. We've got Uncanny X-Men number 261. And we've got Amazing Spider-Man number 413 at $5 each. Hello, Mark. What is the JLA on? It is Justice League of America number 127, graded at a 9.4 for 40. Next up is Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number 1, graded at 8.0 for 45. It's the first cameo of Beyonder, Red Galactus. Jim. Next up is Edge of Venomverse number one. It is the Unknown Comics exclusive variant by Greg Horn. Graded at a 9.4 for 25. Those of you looking for the five dollar bucks, we will go through the frame one more time with the price, and then we will shift back to five dollar for a bit. Next up is Avengers number fifteen. It is graded at a six point zero for sixty. And we've got Justice League of America number 31. It is graded at 7.0 for 45. Gonna go ahead and do last call for the top row. We've got Tales to Astonish number 77. It is graded at 5.0 for 45. Got Journey into Mystery 106, graded at 4.5 for 40. Got Justice League of America number 127, graded at 9.4 for 40. And Master of Kung Fu number 41, price variant, graded at 8.0 for 50. Next up is Silver Surfer number 5. It is graded at 4.0 for 40. Remember, everyone, these are the continuation from the show from Thursday. And he did not get these up on the show, so he was gracious enough to let me put these on the show tonight. Next one up is Quincy's favorite. It is Miles Morales, Spider-Man number one. It 
is graded at 9.4 for 40. Okay, Mark Townsend is claiming A1, which is Justice League of America, number 31, graded at 7.0 for 45. Thank you, sir. Got that for you. Okay. Invincible Iron Man number 100. It is graded at 9.0 for 40. Oh, you've already got it, Quincy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move this one over. And that one is now a 2. Okay, so if Quincy needs to buy another one. Next up is Machine Man number one. It is graded at 9.6 for 50. <laughs> well, I mean, you do have a second kid now, so they each need a Miles collection, right? <laughs> Got Fantastic Four number 43. It does have Kirby art graded at 6.5 for 45. <laughs> Gotta go ahead and do last call before Quincy kills me on the second row. Got Incredible Hulk number 330, McFarlane, graded at 9.4 for 35. Got Batman the Long Halloween number 1, graded at 9.6 for 60. We've got Unbelievable Gwenpool number 25 variant, graded at 9.8 for 50. And we've got Jungle Action number 20, graded at 9.0 for 45. <laughs> Got Captain America, number 101. It is graded at 7.5 for 60. Top row number two. Jenny, I believe you are trying to claim. Please let me know if not. It is Miles Morales, Spider-Man, number one, graded at 9.4 for 40. You're not trying to claim that, please do let me know. Okay, thank you very much. Quincy I also thanks you for helping his wallet not buy a second. <laughs> Next up is Marvel Team Up number one. It is graded at a 6.0 for 60. Got that for you, ma'am. Next up is Green Lantern number 55. It is graded at 8.0 for 30. We've got G.I. Joe, number 26. It is graded at 9.0 for 25. Can I go ahead and do last call for the bottom row? We've got Action Comics, number 408. It is graded at 9.4 for 30. Hello, Lyndon. Got uh, Marvel Superhero Secret Wars, number 1, graded at 8.0 for 45. Got Edge of Venomverse number one. It is the Unknown Comics exclusive variant by Greg Horn, graded at 9.4 for 25. And we've got Avengers number 15, graded at 6.0 for 60. Next up is, uh, let's see here, Batman Dark Knight Triumphant. Number two, it is Frank Miller art, graded at 8.0 for 45. It's actually by Frank Miller. Got Batman number 
number 358. It is the early appearance of Killer Croc. Grade it in 9.2 for 50. And the last one for a bit on the price is... Let's do the Brave and the Bold, number 61. It is graded at 6.0 for 45. Okay, let's go back to the five dollar books for a bit. We've got Sensational Spider-Man, number 28, for five dollars. I'm going to go ahead and do last call for the top row. We've got Silver Surfer number 5, graded at 4.0 for 40. We've got Invincible Iron Man number 100, graded at 9.0 for 40. And Machine Man number 1, graded at 9.6 for 50. Next up is DC Comics Bombshells number 2. Remember, guys and gals, when it has a post-it, it is that listed price. When it does not, it is a $5 book. Next up is Rocket Raccoon, Rocket Raccoon in group number one variant by Knock. It is the one in 10. Mark is claiming DC Bombshells number two for five. Thank you, sir. You got that for you. Next up is Spider-Man Deadpool number six. We got Wonder Woman number one. It is the rebirth. Do you believe that is the second print? Benny is wanting Rocket Raccoon in group number one knock variant, the one in ten for five. Thank you, ma'am. Got that for you. Next up is DC Bombshells number 33. Move this one over one. Oh, yeah. Next up is Batman number 676. It is a second print. And go ahead and do, whoop, Mark is wanting DC Comics Bombshells number 33 for five. Thank you, sir. We got that for you. Okay, going to go ahead and do last call for the bar, or the middle row. We've got Fantastic Four number 43, graded at 6.5 for 45. Got Captain America, number 101, graded at 7.5 for 60. We've got Marvel Team Up, number 1, graded at 6.0 for 60. And we've got Green Lantern, number 55, graded at 8.0 for 30. Jenny, I believe, is wanting the Spider-Man Deadpool, number 6. For five. If not, please let me know. Next up for the cover cam is Spider Man Deadpool number eight. Okay, then we've got 
do Wolverine number 38. Yeah, kill or be killed, number one, it is a second print. Now, DC Comics Bombshells, number nine. Got Spider-Man Deadpool number 18. Gonna go ahead and do last call for the bottom row. We've got G.I. Joe number 26, credit at 9.0 for 25. We've got Batman Dark Knight Triumphant number 2, it is graded at 8.0 for 45. We've got Batman number 358 featuring Killer Croc for an early appearance, graded at 9.2 for 50. And Brave and the Bold number 61, graded at 6.0 for 45. Okay, let's see where we're at. Uh, let's see. DC. Bombshell. Okay, Mark is claiming DC Comics Bombshells number nine for five. Thank you. Okay, that was your B4. Then Holt is wanting A3. Uh... You said Batman, are you meaning a four? You're wanting Batman 676, the second print. Make sure that that's the one you're wanting, Alt. If not, let me know. Okay, next up is, yep, okay, got that for you, sir. Next up is Spider-Man 2099. It is number 17. Thank you, sir. I'll put that one back in B4. No, sir, you are not. If it was not for the post-its on this back, I would get my numbers all confused. We got DC Comics Bombshells number 16. Got Cable and Deadpool, number one. Got Aquaman, number two. And again, I missed the post it. The Cable and Deadpool number one is greater than 8.0. Uh, Mark is claiming C2, which is DC Bombshells number 16 for five. Thank you, sir. There has to be a joke with the Tarzan reference that I am missing that I did not see on Thursday's show. Next up is Wolverine at number two. Remember, guys and gals, the ones without post-its are five dollars each. The ones with them or whatever is marked. We are going to do last call for the top row. We've got Sensational Spider-Man number twenty-eight. We've got Wonder Woman number one, all for five dollars each. Okay, you know what? We are going to mix it up a bit. Next up is Amazing Adventures. Number 15, it is graded at 9.0 for 60. Okay, 
John Fantastic Thor number 21. It is graded at 8 or 1.8. Fantastic Thor number 21 graded at 1.8 for 45. It's the first appearance of Hate Monger. Got Avengers number 18. It is graded as 6.5 for 35. Got Brave and the Bold number 111. It is featuring the Joker. Graded at 8.0 for 50. I'm going to go ahead and do last call for the middle row. We've got Spider-Man Deadpool number 8. We've got Wolverine number 38. We've got Kill or Be Kill number 1 second print. And we've got Spider-Man Deadpool number 18 all for $5 each. We've got DC Bombshells Annual number 1 for $5. Got static number three for five dollars. We got Black Panther number eight. It is a second print variant for five dollars. Mark is claiming B1, which is DC Bombshell's annual number one for $5. Thank you, sir. You got that for you? Actually, looks like I've got two of that Black Panther number eight variant. Second print, so I'm going to go ahead and put the second one up there. Next up is Amazing Spider-Man number 429. It is for $5. Doug is wanting a three. He's claiming Avengers number 18, graded at a 6.5 for 35. Thank you, sir. You got that for you? Next up on the five dollar row, we've got DC Comics Bombshells number twenty one. And I'm gonna go ahead and do last call for the bottom row. We've got Spider Man twenty ninety nine number seventeen. Got Cable and Deadpool number one graded at eight point oh. Got Aquaman number two. And we've got Wolverine number two, all for five dollars each. Next up is Amazing Fantasy number ten. It is graded at nine point six for sixty. It is the first appearance of Nina Price. Well, guys, if y'all watched the Thursday show, this is a continuation of those books from Andy. We did put up in a price album that I do believe is still live. If you missed any of the uh, items that actually went through the show, those are still up and available for you to claim. So please do check out Daniel's albums. Uh, he does post them up throughout the week. So please do go over there and check those out. Mark is wanting B4. He's claiming DC Comics Bombshells number 21 for 5. Thank you, sir. We've got that for you. Okay. Next up is Amazing Spider-Man number 157. It is the 30 cent price variant graded at 4.0 for 40.
Got Green Lantern number 82. It is uh, Neil Adams art graded at 7.5 for 45. Next up is Avengers number 55. It is graded at 6.0 for 65. 6.0 for 65. It is the first full appearance of Ultron. Hmm. That's weird, Mark. Um, yeah, go ahead and do last call for the top row. We've got Amazing Adventures number 15, graded at 9.0 for 60. Fantastic Four number 21, graded at 1.8 for 45. And Brave in the Bowl number 111, graded at 8.0 for 50. Uh, Mark did bring up a, a thing that I would like to address, though. Uh, with the live shows, if you are ever having a problem and cannot get it to view live, uh, we have had occasion, occasions where people have said that exact thing, that they cannot watch us while we are alive, but they have been able to have some luck with it being posted after. If that is ever the case, please do feel free to watch through the show. You can make claims directly after the show, and we will pull them before we do make those Facebook uh, albums go live. So we do always check our messages as fast as we can. Sometimes with uh, three or four of us in the office, we do have a tendency to overlap, but uh, we do get those checked before we do post anything live. So if you do have to watch the show after, please do send us a private message and we can try to get you your books uh, pulled before those albums go live. Okay, next up is Spider-Man Deadpool number 16. I know I have had occasions where sometimes when I go back in to try to find the live video to post it up on YouTube, uh, there has been issues even with me trying to locate it. So sometimes it is uh, not just uh, y'all with those browsers, sometimes it's just Facebook in general. Holt is wanting to claim the wizard world from earlier. Or the wizard. Give me just one second, you guys. Let me find this for Holt. Okay, Holt is claiming Wizard X-Men Turn 30 Collector's Edition for five. Thank you, sir. Jenny is claiming Spider-Man Deadpool number 16 from the cover cam. Thank you, ma'am. It is Spider-Man Deadpool number 16 for five. Okay, next up is Incredible Hulk number 347. It is graded at a 4.0. <laughs> Gotta be quick, Quincy. Next up is X Factor number 92. It does have the hologram. Cannot slack with this crew. <sighs> Got Wolverine number one. It is the world. Wildlife Fun variant is Wolverine in Global Jeopardy number one. It is for five. Please do keep in mind, if you do not see a post-it on it, it is $5. If you do see a post-it note, it is the price that it is marked. Next up is Static number 13 for five. Uh, go ahead and do last call for the middle row. We've got Static, number three. Got two copies of Black Panther, number eight. It is a second print variant. 
and we've got Amazing Spider-Man number 429, all for $5 each. We've got Incredible Hulk number 345. It has got McFarlane art. It is graded at 9.0 for 35. I think Hulk is still experiencing some fatigue and lag from the Metallica concert. Next up is All Star Squadron number 25. It is graded at 9.0 for 45. We got Fantastic Four number 44. It is graded at a 4.0 for 50. It's the first appearance of Gorgon. Gorgon? Gorgon. <laughs> that he is, Mark. That he is. Next up is Invincible Iron Man number uh, 53. Sorry, Iron Man number 53. Graded at 9.2 for 40. Let me go ahead and do last call for the bottom row. We got Amazing Fantasy number 10. It is graded at 9.6 for 60. We got Amazing Spider Man number 157. It is the 30 cent price variant, graded at 4.0 for 40. We've got Green Lantern number 82. Neil Adams, graded at 7.5 for 45. And Avengers number 55 feet. Uh, graded at a 6.0 for 65, the first full appearance of Ultron. Next up is Amazing, or no, sorry, Spider-Man 2099, number 16. Spider-Man 2099, number 16 for 5. Got static number two for five. It is graded at a 7.0. Mark is claiming B4. He's wanting Iron Man number 53, graded at a 9.2 for 40. Thank you, sir. We got that for you. Next up is X Force number twenty-five. For five. Next up is Spider-Man Deadpool number 1.MU. It's the Monsters Unleashed cover for five. Okay, go ahead and do a last call for the top row. We've got Incredible Hulk number 347. We've got X-Factor number 92. We've got Wolverine number one. It is the World Wildlife Fund variant. We've got Static, number 13, all for $5 each. Next up is Daredevil, number 609. It is a second print, graded out a 9.8 for 50. We got Giant Size Avengers number five. It is graded at 9.6 for 50. We 
We got Captain America at number 103. It is graded at a 7.5 for 60. We got Giant Size Dracula at number 4. It is graded at a 9.2 for 30. Gonna go ahead and do last call for the middle row. We've got Hulk number 345, graded at 9.0 for 35. We've got All Star Squadron number 25, graded at 9.0 for 45. And Fantastic Four number 44, graded at 4.0 for 50. Okay, next up is Spider Man or Spectacular Spider Man number 258 for 5. That is Spectacular Spider Man. We've got Excalibur number 71. It is with a foil. Or the hologram, sorry, with the hologram. Ooh, one of my fans turned off. That heat is getting to me. Next up is Wolverine number 50. Does have the die cut cover. It is for $5. Next up is Spider Man 2099, number 14 for five. Okay, gonna go ahead and do last call for the bottom row. We've got Static, number two, graded at 7.0. We've got X Force, number 25, with a hologram. And we've got Spider Man Deadpool, number 1.MU, Monsters Unleashed cover for $5 each. We got Batman. Uh, hold on a second. Let me fix something real quick. Okay, we got Batman number four hundred and twenty-seven. It is a new stand edition, graded at eight point zero for twenty. Had the grade on there twice. Next up is Conan the Barbarian, number 10. It is graded at 7.5 to 35. We've got Amazing Spider-Man, annual number 21. It is the wedding issue, graded at 9.6 for 55. We've got Green Lantern, number 25 variant. It is graded at 9.2 for 50. It's the first appearance of... Arist uh, Arist Aristus and La Freeze. Lar Freeze. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and do last call for the top row. We've got Daredevil number 609. It has a second print graded at 9.8 for 50. Giant Size Avengers number 5. It is graded at 9.6 for 50. Captain America, number 103, graded at 7.5 for 60. And Giant Size Dracula, number 4, graded at 9.2 for 30. Okay, next up for the $5 bucks, we've got Wolverine, number 22. Remember, guys and gals, if it does not have a post-it saying the price, it is $5.
try to mix it up a little bit. Okay, next up is Scarlet Witch number one for five. Yeah, Batman number six hundred and eighty-one. It has a second print. Jenny is claiming the Scarlet Witch number one for five. Thank you, ma'am. Yep. What do I do with my partner? We got that for you. Got Rocket Raccoon, Rocket Raccoon number one. It is a variant for five. Halt is claiming Batman number 681, second print for five. Thank you, sir. We've got that for you. Next up is Wonder Woman number one. It is the first print of Rebirth for five. Jenny is claiming the Rocky Raccoon, Rocket Raccoon number one variant for five. Thank you, ma'am. I'm raving, I cannot say raccoon today. Okay, next up is Spider Man versus Deadpool number 36 for five. Next up is the new Avengers number one. It does have a price sticker on the back of it. <laughs> Maybe. Not saying yes or no to that one, Mark. Gonna do last call for the middle row. We've got Spectacular Spider Man number 258. We've got Excalibur, number 71, with a hologram. We've got Wolverine, number 50, with a die cut cover. And we've got Spider-Man 2099, number 14, for $5 each. Jenny is claiming the Spider-Man versus Deadpool, number 36, for 5 Thank you, ma'am. Okay, gonna keep putting up the five dollar bucks until that row is filled. We've got next up, uh, still Amazing Spider Man number 412. <laughs> Rocket Trash Panda. I might, Quincy. I was about to give out a spoiler. If anyone has not seen Guardians of the Galaxy 3 yet, you need to. Okay, next up is Avengers number 195. It is graded at a 9.2 for 50. It's the first cameo appearance of Taskmaster. Taskmaster. Jenny is claiming A3. We're wanting, wait, A3, not A1. We were wanting A3. We're wanting the new Avengers, number one. Please do know, though, there is a price sticker on the back of it. Please let me know if you still would like it for five. But there is a price sticker on the back cover.
Next up is Captain America, number 323. It is rated at 9.4 for 40. Is the first appearance of John Walker. Okay, we've got that for you, ma'am. Thank you. We've got Batman, number 428. It is a newsstand edition. Graded at 9.2 for 65. It's the death of Jason Todd. We got Captain Marvel, number 16. It is graded at 9.6 for 45. Is the first cameo appearance of, for, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to botch that one. P-H-Y-L-A-V-E-L-L. -L. Not even going to attempt it. Going to go ahead and do last call for the bottom row. We got Batman number 427 it is a new stand edition graded at 8.0 for 20. We got Conan the Barbarian number 10 it is graded at 7.5 for 35. We got Amazing Spider-Man annual number 21 it is the wedding issue graded at 9.6 for 55. And we've got Green Lantern number 25 variant graded at 9.2 for 50. Okay, I think we are probably going to fill up the A-frame one more time, and then call it a night. Because it is already eight. Next up is Uncanny X-Men number 532 for five. We got Spider-Man Deadpool number nine for five. We got DC Comics Bombshells number twenty seven for five. Got Spider-Man Deadpool number 15 for five. Okay, gonna go ahead and do last call for the top row. We've got Wolverine number 22, Wonder Woman Rebirth number one, excuse me, Amazing Spider-Man number 412 for $5 each. Mark is claiming A, or C3, sorry, C3. Is DC Bombshells number 27 for five. Thank you, sir. You got that for you. Next up is Sleepwalker number one. It is graded at 8.0. Next up is Fantastic Four, number 244 is in Houston, graded at 9.4 for 55. It's the first appearance of Frankie Ray as Nova. Okay, next up is Amazing Spider-Man number 36. It is the 9-11 variant, graded at 9.4 for 60. is claiming Uncanny X-Men number 532 for five dollars. Thank you, sir. We 
Now that I poured it. Next up is Conan the Barbarian number 14. It is the first appearance of Elric in comic books. Graded at 6.0 for 60. Next up for the price is Fear number 20. It is graded at 4.0 for 30. It is the first solo Morbius story. I go ahead and do last call for the middle row. We've got Avengers number 195. It is graded at 9.2 for 50. We've got Captain America number 323. It is graded at 9.4 for 40. We got Batman number 428 newsstand graded at 9.2 for 65 and Captain Marvel number 16 graded at 9.6 for 45. Got Spider-Man versus Deadpool number 27 for 5. Got Spider-Man 2099, number 34, for five. Got Spider-Man Deadpool, number 14. And we've got DC and Comics Bombshells, number 32. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do last call for the bottom row. We've got Spider-Man and Deadpool, number 9. We've got Spider-Man and Deadpool, number 15. And we've got Sleepwalker, number 1, graded at 8.0 for $5 each. Next up, we've got Aquaman, at number 16. It is graded at 7.5 for 40. Got Batgirl, number 35. It is the New York Comic Con variant, graded at 9.6 for 50. Mark is claiming B4 is DC Comics Bombshells number 32 for 5. Thank you, sir. Got that for you. Since he took that one down, I will put up DC Comics Bombshells number 39 for 5. <laughs> I don't know why I just held that. I know, I'm like, <laughs> I already had a stack of 5 sitting off to the side. Okay, next up is Batman number 429. It is featuring Joker, graded at 8.0 for 10. Next up is Astonishing Tales number 4. It is graded at 9.2 for 35. Mark, I do believe you said C3. I just put the Batman 429 Joker, or featuring Joker, right at 8.0 for 10. Okay, you mean B, B4? So you are wanting DC Comics Bombshells number 29 for 5. Thank you, sir. Okay, got that for you. And we 
will put a Red Goblin number three. It is the Alex Ross variant for five. I'm determined to keep this in focus. that for you sir okay and last but not least we have the atom number seven it is graded at a 6.5 for 65 it is the first adam and hawkman team up okay guys i am going to end it there we do have a lot of shifting that we still have to do before uh we can set up for tomorrow uh speaking of tomorrow please do get your last minute uh pull list options in a uh, pull list selections in before 2 p.m. on that on the website uh, that is your last chance to get anything that is still available for this uh, next week's poll uh, once that does go down the next shot that you have will be at starting at 6 p.m. for the comics toys and trades and then the ratio variance will be uploaded at 7 p.m. your next shot after that will be back when I put it back live for payment on the website sometime Wednesday morning is generally before noon. I do as well put the rest of the ratio variants that did not get claimed. So if y'all have been wondering where the ratios have been going after they get off of those albums, we have been putting them back live on the website. So please do check out the ratios category. It does have everything that we have available for the ratios on the website. <laughs> Thank you all. Uh, but with all that being said, guys, please do take care of each other, and we will get through this insane world together. We will see y'all on next Thursday, where you will see Andy selling y'all the books this time and having the comic conversations. So please do check out his show on Thursday. Otherwise, I will see you climbing those albums. I will catch y'all next time. Y'all have a good night.